Right, welcome back. Uh, part four of the bowl, spoon bowl carving. I uh, keep them nice and short. Um, it's as you see, three five minutes to do this side. I then went off. I just finished this side to save time in the video, so you can see it's very roughly shaped. I just thought I'd show you the last part of what we do with the bowl, just the refining. Remember, we slide knife, keep it stropped every few minutes or so to keep a razor sharp edge if you see the center line is almost still visible so just using the end with the grip this a bit of power behind to do small shaving cuts just to take off the pencil line and to smooth it out working the way all the way back up the spoon and take this opportunity you'll see sort of dimples like golf ball effect if you just slide the knife and just as if you're shaving the back of the spoon, it'll take them off. But you don't take them all off because that's of course the hand carved spoon, that's what gives you the uh, the effect. But again, the edge, you see sometimes you have a thicker line. So again, it's all about refining the finish, nice and gentle, just using the tip of the knife, keep pushing through. Just to try and refine that line. Remember, I said cutting down all the time and just giving the back of the ball a, a bit of a shave and a clean up. You can take it as you can clean up as much as you wish because, of course, the more you, you take off a knife, the less you've got to sand. Uh, and just generally, you can see what I'm doing hold the knife and just sort of slicing the top and moving some of the chunky bits and again keep looking keep checking the depth you're trying to get a good uniform dome shape um, this size is even finished a little bit more refining on this side with the slicing actions you see I'm trying to take off slices you can see I'm moving my hands slicing across the surface nice knife gives you a nice clean cut and again so you're just sort of shaving and looking at that edge again you can see certain parts are thick so 40 by 45 degree angle just to take it off so it's a nice finish again turn it around just to finish and I'm reasonably happy I mean bear in mind this is a rush job this whole knife so far has taken me about 15 minutes yeah um, but you can see the effect you're getting on the back. The more you do, the more refining. But don't be too afraid. Don't go too deep in life. Because remember, you can use the sandpaper to take off. But that'll be in a separate video. Well, I'll just show you now, just to finish off the bowl. The last part of the video is the transition between the bowl and the handle. What I like to do is push down, make a series of... See the sheave cuts? turn around and just remove the material like a gently going up and you'll see the effect is made so again the other side a, a series of them cuts turn this around and just take them off simple as that and of course we can do it a bit further down this is where you use sort of three quarters of the way down the knife blade on the when it starts to turn you can turn the knife in to get the shape that you require and it's always nice to have a good smooth transition try to keep it highest in the middle if you want to make it easier you can keep that center line just to give you a bit of a guide and it's just remember so again shave cuts down do a knife around and remove the material again you're just shaving, always cutting downwards, turn the knife around, cutting downwards, cutting downwards, and cutting down, we're taking the knife, and you'll see. Just a very quick piece of working. Just tip a little bit more for you so you can see it clearly. 
you can see we're starting to develop a transition. Now it's up to you on how thick you do the handle, any design you want. I left it quite thick for you. Um, that'll be a separate video to show you how to shave the handle up. And of course that's going to dictate the transition here again. But it's the same process. Shave down, shave down, shave down. Turn the knife. And across. And the other way, shave down. Turn the knife around. And just, and just try to do this as quick as I can for you. But obviously you take your time. And just by keep moving the spoon, keep moving the knife. You will see. starting to get your shape. So you've got a transition. I like to keep a ridge on the back. You don't want it too thin there because of course this is the working part of the spoon. So to try and get it thin looks elegant but it's weak. So if you as thin as you like but try to keep some meat on the back and you can do that still be looking elegant if you and the transitions come to the sides and then you can just shape the handle which it Every way you like. Remember, keep your knives stropped up. Right, thank you.